Even the builder, AVAX Homes, calls it the mistake house. The Wesley Chapel house was built less than six feet away from the house next door. Our Better Call Benkin investigation put a spotlight on the blunder and on Pasco County inspectors who didn't catch it until the house was nearly complete. Investigator Shannon Benkin is back now with a follow-up because you found proof that this should have been caught early on. Mistake House is right on the money because that's what this is here. Mm -hmm. I checked in with the county because they said that the builder changed the design at the last minute and no one called it. But the site plans to build this house just six feet away are not only in black and white, the county stamped approved it. It all comes down to a flip. If the design of this house in Avalon Park West had only been flipped so that the driveway was in between the homes, it wouldn't have ended up like this. We could house. probably toss toilet paper back and forth to each other. All the windows, including the bathroom, line up. AVEX Homes built the exact same model right next door to Rachel Vermillion. When I took this building blunder to Pasco County, I was told they didn't approve this design, that the builder must have flipped the house, and inspectors just didn't catch it. When they didn't flip it the right way, they flipped it the opposite way. Uh, we probably should have caught that at form board. I didn't take their word for it. I poured over county records and site plans until I found this. AVEX Homes showed the county exactly how close the houses would be. This site plan clearly shows just six feet between the houses. Are there no checks and balances? So moving forward, one of the things we're doing in Pasco County is working with planning to simplify the conditions of approval to eliminate these types of confusing issues. County officials say the original flip explanation was an error. So why is it up to the builder then to fix the mistake if it was your employees that approved the plans? Well, the bottom line is that these houses are still not safely constructed the way they are now. And, and you know, safety and saving lives is paramount when it comes to these designs. Well, that is something we can all agree on. County officials spent hours today poring over these plans, and they say the problems actually started with the Vermillion's home. The builder actually flipped the house's design, throwing off the plans for the rest of the houses on the street. Oh, uh -huh. now that's a new twist. Yeah, it is. So every house that would be built after that, now there's only been two, but every house would be off. Yeah, off a little bit. All right, well, what are they going to do about this one mistake they've got? Well, they say that, you know, they admit now the county, they're, they're part in this mistake, but the builder built this house, and it is a fire house. Hazard. You can't leave it like so that. So they're going to chop it off. They right? are going to chop it off, and they're moving forward with those plans. It's either that or tear it down and start over. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Shannon. Yeah. If you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bankin. The telephone number on your screen: one eight five five Bankin.